Hello everyone, this is Dr. C and this is to Excel or not to Excel using Microsoft Excel One. This is a version one of these slides. Well, we're just now getting used to um, Microsoft Excel and I've dropped my cursor in the first cell which is column A, row one. You'll notice the column numbers go across the top, the rows go down the side. Whenever you drop your cursor in a cell, you'll notice up here that it says B3. Sounds like we're playing bingo, doesn't it? <clears throat> but instead it's B, uh, column B, and row 3. So you can refer to cells by their reference or their name up here, the cell reference. This other little entry is where you enter data. So if I wanted to enter the date, oops, and I wanted to put in first name, and last name, etc. right? I could do that. I could put text in, I could put um, March 23rd, I could put in, um, <clears throat> let's see, I'm Dr. C, right? <laughs> I'll just put me in there. And then, um, and then I could also have like pay, for example, right? I could have, I'm getting $1,000, let's say. I'm not, but we're just gonna say I am. Um, so now, does that look right? I mean, does my file need a little cleanup? Well, let's take a look at the demo. Here I've entered five uh, people and their pay, right? And you'll notice there's some problems with our spreadsheet. So we're going to take a look at it and learn a few features by fixing this sheet, okay? First off, <clears throat> we'd like the date to match this date, where it says the month, uh, and it begins with day and month, which is more of a European standard. So let's select it come up here to the home ribbon go over here to the number section and click on this number this little symbol at the bottom right of the number section and select date and <clears throat> I'm going to select um, this one oh, 14 March there we go so that's the format so we, we just reformatted our date what about our pay boy well first I have to see the, uh, all the information in this column the reason you see these little hash marks is when the column gets too narrow, it, it puts hash marks in there to tell you there's data that you can't see. If you stretch it wide, you can see it better. <clears throat> and here's a little trick. If you put your cursor on the line between D and E and double click, it auto uh, expands for you, right? But let's say we want it a little wider. Well, poor Molly is getting paid negative amount of money, right? <laughs> So we need to fix that. So we're going to take off, we're going to come up here to the formula bar or the where, where you can type in text, dates, or um, do, um, numbers, and we're going to take off that minus sign, okay? So she's a little happier now, but you'll notice all these are in a different format, aren't they? So I want to select all those, come up here again to the number, and I while I could do it using some of these other symbols, I'm going to come to the currency and I'll just select um, this one, the top option, okay? Now you'll notice all of them um, <clears throat> now have decimal points, but it's not telling me if they are in dollars, right? I can click this dollar symbol to add the dollar sign to it. That tells me this is money, right? <laughs> now, um, well, I think that's enough about Excel for today, but let's go ahead and fix this one. There we go. And we can take our dates, select them all by dropping our left cursor into the first field, hold down the shift key, drop your cursor into the net pay field, in other words, selecting all of them, and we could center those, right? A little tip, numbers are always right justified. Uh, for, for names and titles, it's really up to you if you want them left justified or centered, and dates are right justified. Well, I'm Dr. C, and this has been a quick look at Microsoft Excel Part 1. See you online.